Welcome back. This video will be taking it back to the basics with the ARC command. Located under the Draw section of the Home tab in the ribbon, the different types of ARCs are located under the down facing arrow next to the ARC icon. Each drawing option is activated by selecting your ARC of choice and following draft site's prompts in the command window. The most elementary ARC is listed first and consists of specifying three points your start point, through point, and end point. This option allows the most drawing freedom, but may be less exact and quick to use compared to the following arcs. DraftSite then lists three different groups of arcs, which I would describe as shortcuts, because they give you more control when inserting specific measurements or angles. The first section includes arc drawing sequences that begin with the start point, then the center point, and the endpoint, angle, or length of the arc last. The second section lists arcs that begin with the start point, then the endpoint, and the angle, direction, or radius of the curve last. The final group section consists of arcs beginning with the center point, then the start point, and then the endpoint, angle, or length of the curve. Lastly, the continue option allows you to create an arc that's tangent to the last line or arc drawn. Keep in mind that right-clicking after creating an arc will repeat the command, but only as a three-point arc. I hope this post encourages you to incorporate more arc drawing options in your draft site designs. If you're looking to learn more, visit the blog page or visit draftsite.com.